I'm not sure I can hear you. Today, I'm really, really happy to show you for the very first time our new high-end GPU for gamers and creators, AMD Radeon 7. Radeon 7 is the second generation Vega graphics core. It is the world's first 7 nanometer gaming GPU. We see up to 60 62% more performance in GPU compute workloads based on OpenCL. It's different from what you normally expect. It's using our industry leading triplet design. So the smaller die is our 7 nanometer Zen 2 processor die with 8 cores and 16 threads. The larger of the dies is actually our I.O. die. This I.O. die is specif specifically designed for the PC market and for desktops, and it feeds the data between the Zen 2 engine and the rest of the system. And so one of the things that's pretty important is to take advantage of some of the faster graphics cards and devices that are coming to market later this year. Next Gen Ryzen will also be the world's first PC platform to support the ultra-fast PCI Express Gen 4 standard. Hey guys, Red Phantom Mining here. Hope you're all having a good night. Guys, I just want to talk about the AMD keynote that happened um, this morning. Uh, I did watch the whole thing. Um, I actually watched it on the UFD Tech uh, live stream, and it was hilarious and funny as always with the UFD Tech guys. Uh, but um, I want to I want to touch on basically what is important at this keynote for me, and it was the the GPU announcement. Um, Obviously, uh, I want to get at that they didn't announce the Navi, like RX 3070, 3080, 3060 cards, but they did announce the uh, Radeon 7 graphics. That's what they called it. Um, so I'm I'm gonna assume that they're they're gonna announce those, you know, 3080, 3070, or whatever, 7080, 70, 70, 70, 60. I don't know. Uh, cards later down in the next couple months, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, so at the keynote, um, you guys all know Mr. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Lisa Sue, and uh, she uh, she did a really good presentation. Uh, I got to admit, it was pretty pretty cool. Uh, it's obviously she was reading off a screen and trying to present it as naturally as possible, but you know, uh, it was the best that she could do. Uh, yeah, so uh, the intro that I made, um, it basically just touched on that Vega 7, and um, this is an article on Hexus.net, just to, just to further talk about it, guys. Um, the Zen 2 architecture, um, there was a graph, uh, there was a moment there in the intro where I showed, she mentioned the compute performance was, um, let's see if I can find it here. Uh, I don't know where it is. Somewhere. Anyway, the compute performance was uh, like 62% uh, better um, than the existing Vega. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just, I'm just pulling some things here out of my head that, okay, 62% better um, hash rate possibly in mining. As you guys know, when you when you put your AMD cards into the compute performance, then that's that's what it's needed for to mine much better, right? So I'm curious. Uh, here it is. Yeah, 62 percent in OpenCL. So that is the that is the driver for the uh, whatever compute and gaming, I guess. Uh, so that's the that oh that that's in comparison to the RX Vega. So it's not plus sixty two percent. It must be like maybe plus twenty five thirty percent better than the RX Vega in mining. I'm gonna assume roughly. Uh, 
Uh, but the price point for this card is, uh, it's it. She announced that six ninety nine, and it's gonna release on February seventh. So I find that um, the price quite high. So I hope I hope that they'll announce like the other the lower end cards, the RX series or whatever they they're gonna call it, um, in the next maybe month or two, next couple months. Um. So yeah, uh, the Vega seven. Uh, Vega 2. Uh, it's it's going to have 60 compute units. Um, about 25% more performance. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, 25% more performance at the same power TDP. 60 gig, 16 gigabytes of high memory, high bandwidth memory. So HBM. Uh, HBM 2 or HBM 3? Uh, HBM 2. Uh, and 1 terabyte per second memory bandwidth. So yeah, this is a this is gonna be a ballin' card. It's gonna be really good. I uh, for gaming, I'm assuming DX12. Okay, so they have a comparison here: RTX 2080 versus the Radeon 7. It looks like to be on par with the RTX 2080 and uh, Vulcan performance. Obviously, it's beating it. Hmm, interesting. Um. Uh, that's not the RTX 2080 Ti, that's just the RTX. Uh, so, it is likely the AMD will use more power for the same performance, 300 watt versus 250, and lack any forward looking ray tracing, obviously. Yeah, no ray tracing, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, guys, so, I'm, this is the main part I was really, I was really excited for. Obviously, um, it didn't seem like that hyped like there was a lot of hype pre AMD keynote like you guys you know I made the video of like oh I think AMD is gonna be huge this year right and I don't know the whole keynote to me didn't seem didn't seem that super hype but before it you know there was so much hype right and uh, I guess there was too much hype and so my uh, my whole mentality of it of this keynote that we watched wasn't I guess kind of a letdown um, but who knows? AMD will surprise us all, right? They they always come out with something good, always, all the time. So, um, you know, saving the best for last kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the other thing that I want to touch on was the AMD their uh, CPU. Um, I also had that in the intro, um, talking about the they're gonna have the seven nanometer nanometer Ryzen seven, um, Ryzen three thousand. Um, this is just an article on Forbes just to show you guys. Uh, so they did a comparison to the 90, i9 9900K. Um, and apparently it beats it in Cinebench. And it's also lower power consumption, which is pretty cool. So uh, apparently the benchmark was um, comparison to the Ryzen, their Ryzen 7 uh, 2700. Uh, 2700x it's about 14% faster so really it's yeah it's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty decent not too bad uh, just to let you guys know I did buy a whole Ryzen system today and I'll show you guys uh, my post that I just did uh, on Instagram uh, yeah so I got a Asus tough b250 b450 M dash plus motherboard a uh, crucial one terabyte uh, m.2 NVMe uh, hard drive that does like 2,000 megabytes read and 1800 megabytes uh, per second uh, write. so it's gonna be insane four times faster than my SSD uh, I got the Ryzen 7 2700 and the uh, Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, uh, 32 gigabytes, 266, 266, uh, 6 megahertz uh, RAM, and uh, the thermal take RGB 750 watt power supply. Uh, I just got a uh, computer case, a new computer case as well. I got the uh, Fantex uh, and uh, Fantex Evolve MATX. It's the aluminum uh, gray edition. It's pretty sick, pretty sick. Uh, so I'm going to build that. I'm going to make a video about it later. But yeah, guys, uh, 
yeah, that's all I really want to touch on. Uh, really, those two things I'm excited for from the uh, keynote that Lisa Sue, Mrs. Lisa Sue did. And um, yeah, it's overall, I think it's it's going to be good for the space, AMD versus NVIDIA. The NVIDIA one really... Uh, <laughs> The whole 2060 and like 1160 thing, I don't know. I don't really. Uh, apparently, the 2060 is actually when you overclock it, it's better than the 2070. So that's that's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, if this card comes out, yeah, February 7th, um, I may pick one up as uh, I need a new card for my new system here. I'm probably just gonna use a RX 580 in the meantime. Yeah, guys, the whole main reason I bought this system was. Um, to have better, uh, faster content creation, to uh, further my, uh, you know, my, uh, uh, what do you call it, content creation um, speed, you know, efficiency. Like this ex existing computer I have now, it's i7 4790K and um, or 4770K, sorry, and uh, yeah, it's it's just it's just slow when I do stuff in Premiere, Premiere Pro, Adobe CC. Um, stuff so um, and it takes like 20 to 30 minutes to render a video sometimes so I was like ah, I'll just bite the bullet I'm not gonna wait for the Ryzen 3000 because it's gonna be another six months I'm assuming so uh, yeah I might as well just buy that stuff now it was a good price and I just bit the bullet and did it and I uh, enjoyed this CES keynote that happened today um, Oh, guys, I want to touch on one more thing. Um, I'm planning on doing a um, mining rig, uh, like a community mining rigs episodes. So um, I made a... You guys can email me at... Uh, here's my website, by the way, redpandamining.com. If you go to... Um, I'll have like a YouTubers page, and I have all the crypto mining YouTubers here. You guys can check it out. And uh, I want to have like the community mining rigs on the website here, but I'm also gonna make like a community um, community like you know it, it's similar to what like uh, Son of Attack did uh, his uh, mining rig wars, uh, very similar. But uh, I, of course I'm gonna call it something else. I'm not gonna copy him, but uh, he hasn't made one in the past couple of months. So I thought I'd like kind of rejuvenate it. And uh, yeah, so email me at rigpix at redpandamining.com or um, just join my Discord and you can post the pics and your little description of your rigs in the uh, uh, mining rigs uh, chat there that I have in my Discord. So uh, yeah, check that out guys and um, check out my website as well. I just started it. it ha it's got nothing really right now, but um, also you can check out all the crypto mining YouTubers that I have here. Uh, if there's something I'm missing, guys, please let me know. You can just email me at contact at redpandamining.com and uh, I'll add them on there. I want to add everybody on here as much as I can. Support everybody. And, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, end the video here. Please like, please like and subscribe. All that jazz. Uh, share the video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.